Hello friends! Привет, друзья! Um, welcome to our channel. It's our channel about BDSM culture and uh, us living this lifestyle 24-7. 24-7. 24-7. Not just five days a week, six days a week. Seven days a week. Seven Continue. Days a week. Anyway, and today our topic is my leash because uh, I wear it all the time. Mm, I take Not it off. All the time. Well, almost all the time. Uh, I take it off like if I shower or go to sleep. But I wear it in the street, in public. Uh, I wear it in front of my parents. Um, There's always like, frequent comments on it. A lot of people want to try it on. <laughs> a lot and, of people. And we have a whole folder of women who have tried <laughs> on your leash. Yeah, but, some uh, good photos. Uh, but, good times. Good, good times. times. Uh, but uh, some people avoid looking at it like mm -hmm, they don't what's see going it. What's in the room? <laughs> You know, and have no idea there's a woman wearing a leash in the room. Yeah, right? and like they will comment on my shoes. <laughs> Wonderful eyes you have. Yeah, That's beautiful lovely. eyes. Uh, but not on the leash. And um, why do I wear it? Yes, why, I, why do you wear it? Uh, well, in one sense, it's like a, you know, the wedding ring doesn't mean, wedding ring doesn't mean shit anymore. Yeah, and right? we're married, I'm, by the way. So, so in, in, in one way, it's a sim symbol of our... Uh, and you know, I, you're leashed, but I'm leashed to you. Mm -hmm. So right? he's uh, on the other end of the leash. So there's a symbolic that people actually read. They ca actually get that those people are kind of close. Yeah, and if you right? think about it, before the wedding ring, they used to be leashes too. So it's like they transformed the leash into the wedding ring, and then we brought it back. So it's a symbol of bondage in one way. But there's also, you know, other people also read the kinky part of it, mm -hmm. which we're very kinky people, and we're into all kinds of uh, crazy monkey sex. Yeah, and it brings me uh, pleasure to think that, uh, like, I'm uh, his property, and he takes care of me, and. Uh, mm, treasures me. Um, but I, I, I do treasure her and uh, part of the fun of the relationship is sexual. Yes. And mm -hmm. this and uh, there, there's a, and the fact and, and we're I would say we're we're both kind of exhibitionists so mm -hmm. we like other people to see the dominance and submission relationship. And right? also you can't imagine like yeah you put a wedding ring on and then you might divorce in a year if you wear a leash you kind of feel that there is no getting away from you went it. a little farther with yeah. a little, little different level of relationship there because well there's a level of everybody knows well everybody knows that's the girl in the bdsm relation oh pauline you know the one who wears the leash that's mm -hmm. a bdsm like let's suppose we broke up uh, uh, where's your, where are you going to find a boyfriend? Like, you know, the, there is no... Yeah. Like, so there's no going... It's a permanent bond. Like, mm -hmm. you're never... And that forces you, like, to tie yourself to each other. And that deepens the relationship. And you feel uh, yeah. that you're in one boat. And you're just... You're going one way uh, together. Or you just sing. The genius of a relationship that cannot be dissolved is that... You have to work out shit, you know? Mm -hmm. I hate your stinky shoes, but I can't get rid of you because of that. So, you know, when a relationship is permanent and the symbolism, it's like really impossible to go back once you've taken this step. Mm -hmm. You're forced to work out your problems, whether you want to or not. And there's no avoiding them because you're stuck with this person for life. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key. Like our codependency is the key to our survival mm -hmm. as a couple and, and why I'd we're say, so close. I'd say for a woman, that would be a great feeling of safety because all women are always terrified that their man leaves them because they don't, well, they don't do it right. Well, and, and I can say as a man, I, I mean, there are a lot of men who are dickheads, but some men, myself included, like that sensation of responsibility. Mm -hmm. Because it, I, I have the propensity to be sex, drug, drugs, and rock and roll, mm -hmm. and very, very irresponsible. And like the idea that someone's life is in your hands, if you're not a complete cocksucker, you take a little more care and say, maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I ought to watch and take, be a little more careful with it, right? So, you know, and I enjoy that sense of responsibility, mm -hmm. right? And, and I think a lot of men would, actually, if they were taught right. In a way, it's actually kind of conservative what we're doing. Yeah, we're both kind of conservative in one yeah. way. Um, in another way, we're crazy. Yeah, crazy but in another way, I'm, I'm crazy we're in the street. I think mm -hmm. the non-conservative part is the sexual part on the outside. Mm -hmm. Whereas most people, that's very private, right? Yeah, so can, also you feel very sexy wearing a leash. Well, and, yeah, because you're wearing yeah. a leash. And, uh, <laughs> and 
<laughs> the constant reminder of sex, basically. How wonderful. And the aesthetic. The aesthetic is very, very uh, yes, overpoweringly sexual, I'd say. Yes, yeah, since we've been together, we've been uh, building our image and uh, uh, playing with the style. And the leash was, uh, like it started like a small choker and then it grew and grew and then the leash... Uh, as our relationship place. grew. Yeah. And then we got flowers and all the other, you know, amulets. And écouterment. And, well, now it's like uh, such a part of my style, I can imagine myself without it. As punishment, I take the leash away and she weeps. It's terrible. It's terrible. Oh, stop it. Is that the end of the story? Well, I guess that's kind of all. all but, it, you know, about the leash, it's not for everyone. Like, everyone mm -hmm. who's into B... Most people are just into B to Sam, they want a little play. We do it all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's not for everyone because everyone doesn't want a relationship that's permanent. Yeah, because... Um, well, our leash is not about... Not just about being kinky, it about, it's about being in relationship and uh, other... Chokers, necklaces, uh, all the other stuff, all the other good true love. But you say, right? Yeah, I don't fucking know. I'm not French. But you know, the sex part is very important. Just quickly, because if you if you're in a relationship and you don't have sex, what you have is a friend there, mm -hmm. and that's not the same as having a sexual partner that you love and cherish. So with us, it's very clear. You see us, the kinky people, they're together, they never get in a way. Yeah, I mean, you look at them. You, everybody knows we're together, mm -hmm. right? And we don't spend a second apart, so. Mm -hmm. That's the story? Yeah, that's yeah. the end of the story. There you go. That was our first video. Mm. Thank you for watching. Push the like button. Don't smoke a hookah.